It is a lightweight bout between Bruce Lee and Yancey Medeiros. Oh, is it great to see this guy make the walk here tonight. Really as accomplished a striker as we've seen come into the UFC in years. And no surprise, he'll be interested in keeping the fight standing tonight. We'll see if he can put on a striking clinic. If the takedown defense holds up, figures to have a pronounced advantage on the feet. This guy is amongst one of the most elusive fighters as far as his defense is concerned. Extremely difficult to hit. could have done inside the UFC. He is making the walk tonight. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. His opponent is going to need to keep his chin tucked and his hands up high. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Los Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, five losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Macaha, Hawaii, Yancy Medeiros! And now we're going to see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after Ready, it. Ready. Here we go. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Oh, lands that punch. Huge leg kick. Back and forth we go. Huge uppercut misses. Oh, that head kick landed. Let's go. Round oh, oh, that huge kick again. again. Oh, wow. Hard shot from the clinch. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. Medeiros gets double underhooks here in the clinch. Normally now he'll...
he'll try to change levels and go for a takedown. Big she body shot. The body. Oh, Beautiful left hand. Left hand is good. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Joe back to the body attack here, that shot blocked. Madaris gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. And misses with the right hand. Went for the inside leg kick. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, Lance flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Nice leg kick. Yeah, missed on that one, Joe. Tags him with the left Both hand. Both men landing in that exchange. Absolutely melted by that head kick. Leg kick now. Nice. Oh! Whoa! This could be it. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Big power shot there. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Lee. He's really missing that right hand. Second round, straight ahead. Here's a perfect head kick. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. Here's a devastating kick that results in a knockdown. Brittany Palmer is in the building doing work as usual. the shot. See the total strikes. Nice punch by Lee. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's going to have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Got to get his head off the center line. Damaging strike there. Great exchanges. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. Oh, oh he's out. He's out. That's it, he's out! He's, he's out. out! Wow! He threw an incredibly large volume of strikes, but this last one was the big one that landed for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, a pinpoint strike to end this fight, it landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Let's see it one more time. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight, near perfect execution, and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 36 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Yeti Madero! So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically. 
by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night. I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go. But at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one. And he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight.